Okay, it's Blue Boy here again, and I was just got a package in the mail, and I just started up from Wild Earth, retailer, online retailer here in Australia, and I just started unpacking it, and I thought, oh, I'll do a unpacking first impression video of my new Osprey Levity 45, 45-litre bag. So, I'm so excited. Pull it apart. Feels really light. And don't cut the scissors. So let's see. I'm doing it without cutting the scissors. Alright. And another plastic bag to get into. Damn, it feels light. Alright. There it is. Levity 44. All the tags. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, not much length in that, is it? That's crazy. That's alright though. Oh, there we go. That's what it is. It's looped under there. Gonna say, man, I've turned into a giant. Can't even fit a big backpack anymore. Right, promo. Feels like I'm wearing the king's clothing. Nothing at all. Oh, gotta put this on. Yep, whistle works. All right. Feels good. I like the blue and the grey. They're my colours today. Okay, let's have a look. So, oh, before I do anything, let's weigh it. I got my trusty scales here from MacPack. So, let's see, I'll do it in pounds for you Americans. 1.90 pounds which is also 0.86 kilos, 860 grams. For us Australians and the rest of the world who don't use the freedom units, who use the metric system. So, I've also got a scale here, but I don't think it's gonna work, so I'll we'll figure that. Cool, let's have a look here. We're all caught up. Boom, boom, boom. Get out the way, warranty card. Man. Fabric feels super slippery and thin, translucent, almost like a nudie tootie bikini. Um, the other fabric, these big pockets at the front, which I plan to put my tent on my wind jacket, feels really sturdy, really nice. You've got some loops down the bottom so you can tie on some bedroll or tent. Oh man, this cord is so fine. I love it. All these little hooks on the back where you can hook carabiners and put all sorts of gadgets and gadgets like my pocket knife and my thermometer that I like to know what temperature it is that I'm walking through. My uh, safety whistle, but I've already got one there. I normally actually clip that stuff to the front here, so where the sternum strap goes on, you've got three positions, top, middle and bottom. It's on the middle one, so you can hook other things to that like thermometer, uh, pocket knife and all that sort of stuff. That material there, it's really beautiful and spongy and really wick away sweat really well. Um, as for the suspended mesh back, that's really fine. And there's no hip belt pockets, but I prefer that because I like to let the heat escape out through the, through the hip belt pockets. Oh, sorry, through the hip belt. And also, I like keeping my phone in my pants pocket, so any pockets in the hip belt get in the way, so I actually prefer this. Uh, and I also read somewhere that those holes there are supposed to reduce how much chafe you can get on your hip bone as well. So that makes sense. Super light. Let's have a look inside this hole. Yeah. Ooh. I'll do that. Mm. There we go. That. 
And we've got some other stupid clip there. You've got to pull back. And now you can get into the guts of it. Woo, see down the guts of that. It's got all the blue and grey colours that I like. Man, even the that, that blue bit there, the back part of this blue bit here, it's translucent. You can see like right through it. Beautiful. Beautiful because that means it's light and beautiful because it's like got the right combination of just like strength to weight ratio. It's like a sports car. Rum, rum. Yep. Anyway, I'm going to go and load it up with my ultralight gear and see how it travels. See how it car carries, I should say. Oh yeah, actually, I'll do that one so there's a little pocket on the top with your keys. This is a large size, by the way, so we'll go and see. Here's the tag I've taken off. It's a 45 litre, and this other one as well. A 45 litre large size, or it's 48 litre. Should be 1.77 pounds or 0.82 kilos, 820 grams. So I thought, let's weigh it, weigh it again with the tags off, because I know all you ultralighters out there, just like me, would go, you'd weigh it with the tag on. You know, that's gonna be like two tenths of an ounce of a chicken fart extra weight that you don't need to carry or measure. So do it right, blue boy. Okay, I will. Here's my scale again, zero it out, pounds. Oh my goodness, it's heavier. 1.92, and I've done it a few times, so I'm not sure what happened last time. And that's equivalent to 0.87 of a kilogram, 870. So I don't know where I've got the extra 50 grams from, but Hey, with intolerances. So let's go load it up now and we'll see how it carries. Well, I've finally got the pack loaded up. The little Osprey Liberty 45 with my base, base weight product stuff. So I've got my gear in here without food or water or fuel. Um, and the weight that I weighed at the other day, which was 1.92 pounds, is actually correct because the 1.87, I think it was, was for the medium, but this is the large. So Osprey's website says it's 1.92 pounds, and that's exactly what I measured it at, which is 870 grams, or 0.87 of a kilo. So, here's the pack. Um, and I thought we'd weigh it with my base weight stuff, just for interest, my base weight gear, or one version of it. And if I turn it on and leave it in pounds, I let it go. Boom. Booyah. It is 8.55 pounds or 3.88 kilos, not bad. So, here it is. And you'll notice I've done something pretty interesting. I've um, winged back the uh, hip belts. So I don't really like hip belts, particularly when the pack's light. So I've worked out that you can loop it back there with a couple of carabiners through these little loops here and um, use the hip belt straps as a, yeah, as a way to pin it back. And then it just acts like a hipless, ventilated backpack. It's phenomenal. So, you know, it's 3.88 kilos in your back. Yeah, you're gonna have about four more kilos of water and food in a minute, but just feeling without a hip belt, it's just like one less thing to get in the way to get in your pockets and to heat you up. Um, and so, yeah, I really, I really like it. I was thinking of returning this pack, but since I can do that, I'm, I'm thinking I'm definitely gonna keep it. Um, one thing about the fit though, is my torso length is a 21 inch. And uh, the website says that for the large, it's 20 to 23 inches. So this should be right in my sweet spot, but I think it's a bit large, it's a bit long. It just feels a little low on my top of my butt. And, um, yeah, when I really cinch it down, like that, these are way too long for my liking. It just feels too long and I don't, with the large, it's got about two or three or more extra inches in height. Like there, you can see that. It's like flicking up there like a, like a backboard. Um, and the medium just chops off right at my um, shoulders and it's 45 litre, whereas this large is uh, 48 litre. So um, one way I've loaded up this, pack is I've, I've let the uh, sleeping bag or the quilt just go all puffy and just like fill up the volume because it kept 
I think it tends to carry better if you fill up the whole volume rather than all these tiny little things in there, tiny little compression sacks, you know, rattling around like a, you know, a fart in a lolly jar. So, here it is. Um, I'm going to put the camera on the thing and we're going to have a good look down on this baby. Well, actually, before we have a look at it, I thought let's load it up and let you have a look at me carrying it with a full load. So I put two kilos of food and two kilos of water, four pounds of each, so eight each per pound approximately. But there's a lot heavier. Oh. Let's uh, see how heavy that is now. Looks a lot fuller, which you'll see in a second. So holding it up, goodness. Okay, so that's 17.1 pounds, which is 7.76 uh, kilograms. So still pretty good. Anything under 10 kilos or 22 pounds um, should be good on your back. So let's try it. Let's stretch a bit tight. That's better. Ah, a bit bouncy now. So down and strap one. Yep, whistle's still going. <laughs> Just checking. Um, yeah, I think those feel alright. It still feels a bit long. I think I'm going to have to get the medium. Even though I actually do like the extra volume. Um, yeah. Walking around. One good thing about this. Oh, I can feel it here. It's rubbing. I don't know what that rubbing is. Stuff in your backpack. Not sure, that might get annoying. Um, I had a, I've got an Osprey Atmos um, AG 65 litre anti gravity, which is like deluxe, really good, but super comfortable, wraps around you, but it's noisy, it creaks. And I had a Manta Osprey Manta 36 just before, and it same style, mini version of the uh, anti gravity um, suspended back, mesh back, and it creaked all over the place. I went just returned it today. I didn't like it for that reason. Um, this one, let's put the hip, let the um, hip belts get back into their normal position. So just unclip it. Oh, your carabiner is there, and oh, they are back. Floppy jalopy like bunny's ears, but I actually like that. And I know that there's no hip belt pockets, and all of you are all crying like you know dead cats that there's no hip belt pockets. But I much prefer that. It gets in hip belt pockets. I don't tend to use them. I tend to use my actual pockets in my actual shorts to like put stuff in. That's why I've got them. And if I've got hip belt pockets that are sticking out on my pack, I can't get to my real pockets. So I pick the real rather than the, the ones there. And also the holes that are there, they um they allow heat venting. So I've noticed when you've got a really wrap around um, hip belt. Your hips get well, you, this part of you gets really hot, so this stuff is like nice mesh, so wicks away sweat, um, and it's quite holy. So it's very spiritual. No, it's just got like lots of holes and stuff to let the sweat and the heat get out. And then you've got this massive hole right there that lets heaps of heat and heaps of sweat out. Um, and like my solution, when you pin back the bunny ears. Um, is even better again. But if you want to carry some of the weight on your hips, which some lots of people do, John and Bella and the like, but John Z and other people don't. So I'm sort of with those guys. But with this pack, you get the best of both worlds. So yeah, that's pretty good. So 7.7 .7 kilos, what was it, 17 pounds? It's filled up the volume. I've made sure it's filled up the volume. Still feels a tiny bit wobbly. <sighs> Getting up a sweat doing this. Whew. Okay, let's have a look at it from the top down. Okay, so here's the levity flat on its tummy with the pin back bunny ears, the pin back hip belt with the carabiners that I've put on there. Um, so, yeah, that's the back. And let's spin it over this way to start with, so you can have a look at the um, suspended air mesh goodness. So that's the mesh, up close and personal, can you see that? So there's the bunny ears, the hip belt pinned back, and that's 
it creates a quite a nice little sort of repository for your um, torso. There's the bottom. Okay, that's what the bottom's made out of. It's got two little loops sort of at the bottom here. Uh, there is it. There it is upside down. Well, I've done it. Okay. So yeah, there's the bottom. So that's sort of like spongy as well. Like there's there's a bit of a hard seam there, but that's where the wire goes all around through there. And then if I move that, you can see the big curve around there. And one of the other reviewers on YouTube said, yeah, there's lots of empty space in there. So I've stuffed my sleeping bag down there, and even that, it's like loose, and it still hasn't got there. So yeah, that is a tiny, tiny minor issue. Um, so yeah, you can access the side water bottle pockets from here or from the top. But looking further down on the mesh, there's the suspended uh, airframe there. You can see like the gap, like right there. And this um, blue stuff is quite, um, quite soft material. It's like thin, thin material. And then it, um, it gets up to here and it's all meshy on the shoulder strap. So it's quite big holes. Um, it's quite spongy and it's like, it's lots of heat and um, stuff through. Um, and you've got three positions for your um, sternum strap. The fold is on the middle one. It's quite good with the whistle. So here yeah, and then you've got your load lifters at the top. And then just there, you've got a little hole there for your uh, water bladder to come through if you want to use one of those. A nice little fine strap here. Um, yeah, so there it is from the front. Like the material, I'm sure you've researched to death all of the materials. I can't remember what the names of them are, but that's quite um, that's quite fine. It's very slippery. It's like silk nylon, probably is some version of it. And that's on the trim and on the inside part of the pack. And on all the contact points, the outside points, it's all this heavier, like rip stoppy type material. And that's quite tough. That's not stretchy, but it's stretchy enough. Um, yeah. So in the, in the top here um, is a little zip pocket. And I've got, what have I got in here? I've got my ditty bag and a Hyperlite Mountain Gear and fiber sack with all my bits and pieces, first aid kit, toiletries, etc. Um, and I've also got store the wind shirt, like a Montbell Tachyon wind shirt. So I'll put that over there. Um, so yeah, it's got quite a big like space for it. Um, yeah, probably maybe four or five liters, probably something like that. And there's also looks like there's two little. Um, like tie outs here so you can clip stuff there and there's another two there one on the top and one on this top here okay so turning it around um yep so actually what i might do well actually you can see here's your where your water bottles go and they're quite big um and i've only got the pack mediumly tight and Let's see if we can go in from here. Here you can. Can you push it? Like if you go in there, then what do you do with it? What are you supposed to do with it? I'm not I'm killing my water bottle. So I'm actually not sure. This is a 1.5 litre water bottle, so it may be too big to go in there. One litre, one, uh, one litre smart water bottle might fit. But for these bigger ones, which I like to carry, I'll have to go in that way. Oop, leaking. Woo. Okay, um, so yeah, I'll take that one out of this side as well. And that one's leaking too. These bottle caps suck, don't they? Get that puppy out. Dry you off. Can you see down there? There you go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Through in there. Ooh, 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 ooh. And that cordage, which is the uh, the cord that goes down through the side here to like cinch it down to tie it up. Let's go down through there and somehow it sort of, I don't know, 
Oh no, that's not a cordage, that's just a tie out, sorry. That cordage goes down through there and then back down through here and then comes out here. So it's all this one there. Okay. So let's have a look at this cordage. So let's unclip here. Oh yeah, all this one here, there's like heaps of heaps of uh, little tie out things, like a billion of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on both sides. So very fine cord, it's really, yeah, beautiful. And it's blue, I love blue. So let's open this up and you'll see you've got like a network of stuff. Let's, let's have a look in here. This is the front stuff at pocket. So I've got a Z seat in there, fits nicely. I've got a Cuban fiber z pack poncho, which is also the floor of my Hexamid Solar Plus tent. Uh, I've got a z -Pak's, um, uh rain kilt. Also acts as a ground cloth or a picnic thing to put my food on. Got uh, some steaks, z, z uh Cuban fiber, um, yeah, uh, not Cuban fiber, carbon fiber steaks. And then we've got a what have I got in here? A juice of spades. Um, poo hole digger. Whatever they call it, I can't remember. It's late. Okay, so that exposed the main torso here with all of this really fine but quite beautiful material. You can hear it, can't you? But the, um, the cordage and the, like, the cinching up is actually quite amazing. I really like it. It um, basically has this fine, all of this fine cord that goes diagonals and then goes down to the back there. And the way that you tighten it up, just see if you can see, the way that you tighten up is you just pull it like that, which is cool, and it pulls it all down. But if you want to tighten this up, or this one up here, to pull in this side but not this one, if you tighten that up there and then lock that little... I thought that's the way it worked. Oh, maybe it doesn't. The other side did that. Thought that that allowed you to lock it on there. Maybe that one's the other side's got more friction. But anyway, I'm sure you could work. I'm sure that could do. But it pulls it there. It pulls it there. Um, and then the same same for this side here. Yeah. See that one's got more tension. So when you if you pull that one down, then that one you can pull that one tighter and like keep it or yeah keep it there, and that one can be like loose or something like that anyway but it's quite beautiful um, and it keeps the, the torso quite nice and thin so that's the side bit and then that stuff at pocket um, strap goes into this little clip here which I think it's a bit stupid it should be down there because when you put the top lid on you can't access it and it's like oh how do I undo it and it'll make it looser but if you come up to here then you've got this little dude here which is the, the actual cinch and you can only undo that a little bit before you sort of run out of room. And then you've got to do this other inside one. It's a bit of a pain and unclip that. And then you can go whoosh, like that. So when you're tying it back up, the idea is that you might have that long. You clip that in there. Then you cinch that down. And that takes like the load of the whole thing rather than the top cinching, which might sort of be too weak and then you cinch it up just for water tightness like that okay and then you do this one for the front front um, stuff at pocket and then you do this one for the actual top lid so there's lots of clicking and chicken and sticking and flipping so two there one there well actually you probably don't need to undo that one that one can stay like that uncinch there like that unclasp there and then further on cinch, and you're in. And then you've just won. Okay, I've got my food bag. So here it is, nice and top, uh, easy to access. The z -Pak's food bag, put that over there. So lots of space there. So yeah, and then if you have a look in here, that's where your uh, water bladder could go. So it just clips in to like uh, that. Whatever. Like that. So very lightweight. And then the hole goes out through there. The hole goes out through there. And on the other side there is H2O coming. H2O coming out through there. Um, cool. So there's the inside. 
let's have a look. So we've got my uh, cook kit, pot and stove, 177, 180 grams total. Metho stove, cat, uh, made out of a cat food tin. Um, we've got a lightweight self-inflating um, mattress. Really like, I like it better than the x Lite, so that's the most. And then further down the guts of it, as you can see, the light up through here, but, uh, you can see that I've got my tent next, which is nice and um, right width. So that's the Cuban Fiber um, z packs Hexamid Solo Plus tent with mesh floor. So I can go down there. Um, so I've, I've sort of got all my stuff so it maintains the same width, so quite narrow. I like my packs to be nice and narrow, and this one works out that way. So like it's nice and you know, narrow down through there, it's beautiful. And now it's starting to get a bit empty. We can sort of start to see in there all the translucent goodness of thinness and ultra lightness. Um, Okay, so we're getting to the second bottom bit, and we've got, what is in here? Um, a clothes bag and a hyperlight mountain gear pillow that turns inside out into a pillow. So puffer and thermals and beanie and socks and stuff. And then finally, I haven't put it in a stuff sack, but that's my, just a lightweight summer um, quilt from Cedar Summit um, called a uh, Traveller. That's like a... 50 degree bag, it's very light, it's like 14, 14 ounces or something, 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 degrees Celsius, rated to, and then there's our, that's the pack, it's completely empty, down to the bottom, not sure if you can see that, because it's pretty hard, have a look, see if we can bring the light down in there, there's the bottom. Now the Curve is actually not too bad. Um, I've got other ventilated backpacks and the Curve is quite pronounced, but this Curve is quite thin, but it's more than adequate. Um, so, oh yeah, maybe if I hold it like that, push some stuff, we'll be able to like, see a bit better down in there, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Should be able to get down the gut of it like that. If I put the light down like that, yeah, it's a bit better. You can sort of see the, the bottom is a blue, blue colour. Yeah, there we go. You can see all the translucent goodness. The bottom of the blue right down to there. There we go. Put the camera right inside. It's like it's gobbling it like an alligator. Oh, there we go. There's the inside. There's the bottom. So it's not seam sealed, of course. That adds weight and it's sort of quite pointless. So you've got a pack cover or uh, dry, dry sacks or garbage bag or something like that. And then that's the whole pack again. So it's very light. It's very nice. And I think I need to get a medium in, uh, in size. Okay. Bye. Oh, I thought I'd put a tape measure on where I think they, they may measure it from the bottom. I don't know, I'm not sure. Anyway, so there's like from that um, seam line there, and then right up to the top of the like uh, shoulder straps, 22 inches, right there is 20, 21, 22, 23. So if they measure from there, I know that they measure from the top of the iliac crest, which is probably, uh, I don't know, maybe there or there, who knows wherever you, you, you sit your pack. So if it's there, so, uh, I don't know. Anyway, put the tape measure there. So there you have it. There's my unboxing and first look video on the new Osprey Levity 45 Super Ultralight Ventilated Backpack. My next, one of my next videos will be, well, what would you like to see it compared to? What would you really like to see the Osprey shoot out against? I bet you're all saying, how about a Z-Pack pack? That's what I was thinking. So that's what's coming soon. A shootout. Who's going to win? Who's the best? Who's got the right stuff? Who's got the right mix? Is it Levity, the new kid on the block? Or is it good old Z-Pax Arc with the ventilated back? 
and the optional zip, which I've got and used for the last six to nine months. And love it. Is it? Is the new levity good enough to pop, stop, and rock Z-Pax's ARC world? Find out soon.